So I just recorded this whole episode and then realised that my mic wasn't up here, which I almost did again. That is crazy. Um, so uh, let's do this again. So I thought I'd do an update on my Obsidian Ink plugin because I've been working really hard to do the embed conversion. So let's have a look at that, shall we? So here's just a, a markdown note. I'm gonna chuck some things in there. So I'm gonna go handwriting first and you'll see that there's legacy, which I'll remove before the next release, but it'll still support it, but it you won't be able to insert them. But this is the old format. So I'll do that first, new handwriting. And let's say, uh, let's just do a squiggle because I can't be bothered. Um, let's do a drawing legacy and we'll make that a bit smaller and we'll do a squiggle as well let's do handwriting non-legacy so the new format and i'll do some loops so you can tell the difference and oh what happened there didn't save and then let's do a drawing again but non-legacy so this is the new format again and i'll do loops here as well, but maybe a line through it. Okay, so now previously the old format was a code embed. So I if I move my cursor down, you'll see it turns into a code embed. And um, you can see you can select it. Um, you can see all the details. You can accidentally delete half of it and then you've screwed everything. Um, you can select all of it, but it converts to a code embed. So it's kind of pretty crappy to work with. The new embed doesn't do that. If I move my cursor down, it actually just skips past it. I can obviously delete it, I can backspace, but, um, and I can even select it and I can cut it and I can paste it, um, all that stuff, but it's treated as one atomic block. So if I look at the file types of these, the old format says writing and the old format for drawing says drawing. And if I go to the settings and I turn off ink, you'll see those now don't convert to embeds. They're not visible anymore. And those file types aren't visible anymore. But the new file types are SVGs. So they stay visible even with the plugin turned off. And they stay visible in here, even with the plugin turned off. And if I go and open uh, them in the default app, you'll see it's a standard SVG, but it also has this metadata in it that supports editability. So it's an SVG, but it's still an editable ink plugin file. Um, so it's all in one file. You don't have to juggle two files or anything. So let's turn that back on. Oh, you'll see if I click on the SVGs, you'll see they just show up as SVGs because Obsidian supports them um, and other Markdown editors would as well. If I turn ink back on and I go back to this file, everything appears again. If I click on the SVGs, not that first one, but that was uh, that's an exception. Um, if I click on the SVGs, they turn into an editor, so I can I can edit them um, just like before, even though they're SVGs. Now, there are a few benefits to this new format. One, you can turn the plugin off on one of your computers because maybe you don't use ink on there and it'll still show up. It won't show up as pretty as this, but the files will still show up. The other big benefit is that if I go to insert a legacy drawing, so insert existing legacy drawing, you'll see all we get is a the default Obsidian menu showing the file names. But the file names, names aren't particularly useful because I haven't bothered rename, renaming them and I imagine most people don't as well. Um, so yeah, I can insert and it inserts a legacy format um, but it's a bit hard to work with. But because now the new format is all SVGs, we already have ready-made images to work with. So if I go insert existing drawing of the new format, I get this menu 
that is pictures. It's the drawings that I've done. So I can click on this and insert it again. Um, and notice how I can change the size of it differently to this one above. Um, same with handwriting. So if I go handwriting, writing, existing, I see those handwritings there. So pretty happy with that. I think everyone will love it. It's it's mostly done. There are a couple of things that I need to fix. Oh, hey, mate, come over here. Emmett, Emmett, come here, come here. Let's let everyone see you. Let's go back. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look there. There you go. Anyway, you saw him walking around, so I thought I'd show you. Um, I have most done most of that, so it's almost ready to release. You burped, didn't you? You stink. Um, it's almost... That's gross. It's almost ready to release, but the scrolling behavior is a bit weird at the moment because of that fix I implemented last video, I think. Um, so I need to fix that or, or, or ditch it a little bit. Um, and I need to just need to do some internal testing. So when I release it, the legacy stuff won't be insertable, but you will it will still be supported. So all your legacy drawings will still appear, um, but um, you won't be able to insert legacy drawings again. It'll be all new format. And that change is going uh, is gonna to enable a whole bunch of other things that I want to do as well, like that better preview when you're inserting existing files. So uh, onward and upward from here. But um, thanks for joining, and I hope you liked this video. See ya.